So that's where I will begin reading. What I would like to do, of course, is give this reading to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us that we may see whatever it is that we need to see and realize whatever it is that we, are, that we need to realize because we are forever interested in accepting the atonement for ourselves, and we are grateful for any help that Holy Spirit will give us in removing the obstacles to love's presence and accepting the truth as true. I'd like to remind all of you that you are a part of the flow, and so if you feel guided to say anything or ask anything, please raise your hand and I will turn the mic over to you. So what I am going to do, if no one has any questions or anything before I, before I get started, I'll just begin reading. <laughs> um, again, I'm reading from Monday, May 30th, 2005. Now is not the time for you. It is the time for I am. Say to yourself, I am my brother. I am happiness. I am that one I call the Holy Spirit. I am. I am now. Close your eyes and feel these words. Feel the truth and meaning behind them. Open up to receive me as you, ending duality and making these words meaningless by making these words the same. I am. I am now. This is what you are asking for today, and this is what already is, so you have already received. Rejoice and be happy, for it is so. And again, back in May 2005, uh, I as yet had no understanding of oneness, none whatsoever. Um, You know, I mean, I was able to read A Course in Miracles, and I was able to read the words, but... Uh, within my own experience, um, my, my own experience was still purely separation at this point. So what I was doing was giving willingness to see or understand or experience our oneness, but I did not yet see, understand, or experience our oneness. So uh, I am certain that when the Holy Spirit said things to me like, this is what you are asking for today, that I would have agreed with. I was asking for that kind of vision. But when Holy Spirit went on to say, and this is what already is, I probably felt a pain uh, in writing that. I felt a pain because it wasn't my experience yet, and I really didn't know if it was true. Um, But what I always did uh, was I always gave my willingness. And I noticed Mary Ellen's in the room. She just popped into the room. She made a beautiful post. I believe it was yesterday, although I lose track of time. (laughs) I believe it was yesterday. Uh, about willingness, about how important willingness is. And um, I made a post back to her saying something like, Amen, sister. (laughs) Because what I've learned through my experience is that willingness is everything. Uh, You know, if there's something that we do not understand, uh, something that is very difficult for us to grasp, something we're feeling a lot of resistance towards the idea, um, really all we need to do is start with willingness. And as we go with willingness and continue giving willingness, what willingness really is, which I I know Dove loves to um, repeat this. I've heard him repeat it a few times. Willingness is really the will of the Son of God in diapers. 
It's, it's like a baby. It's like, it's like our will, but it's a baby. It starts off as a tiny spark. And what happens as we nurse this baby, as we nurse this spark, as we nurse this willingness, is it grows through our own desire. This willingness grows and grows and grows until eventually it is will. And when the Son of God wills for something, the Son of God receives. So as we give willingness, for example, to see, understand, experience our oneness, and we continue to give that willingness, and we continue to nurse it through our desire, at one point it becomes will, and we then have that experience we see, know, understand, experience our oneness. And the Holy Spirit gave me messages like the one that I'm reading now, through my willingness to have that experience. And then as I would practice these messages with that heartfelt willingness, my, this is how I nursed that willingness. This is how that willingness grew. So even though I was not yet having experiences of oneness, these are the stepping stones that led to those experiences. So the gratitude that I have for these simple, simple messages, um, I really cannot express because these were the messages that nursed my willingness and helped it grow to the will so that I could have the experience of oneness. So let me just read this message again. Now is not the time for you. It is the time for I am. Say to yourself, I am my brother. I am happiness. I am that one I call the Holy Spirit. I am. I am now. Close your eyes and feel these words. Feel the truth and meaning behind them. Open up to receive me as you. Ending duality and making these words meaningless by making these words the same. And I love that, you know, because what he's really saying is that the words brother, happiness, Holy Spirit, I am, and the word now, that all those words are the same.